Mafinga District in Muchinga Province now boasts of two district hospitals situated in Miyombe and Tendele areas. This was aimed at bringing health facilities and services closer to the communities, which was one of the biggest challenges in the district. However, the construction of these facilities did not include the mortuary, which has now been done using the Constituency Development Fund. Area Member of Parliament, Robert Chavinga, visited the newly constructed mortuary in Miyombe and is impressed with the works done so far. Uh, that place, because remember, if you have just looked at the distance, if you have a fatality, fat RTA, it has to go to Isoka in order for the post-mortem toy, which was very costly for the, for the hospital. And so it was construction and equipment. But Mr. Chavinga wants the bottlenecks in the procurement process of CDF projects to be addressed as it is slowing down the pace of implementation of projects in his district. So for us, the people of Mafinga, it's kudos to His Excellency the President that this is a game changer. However, our appeal, it's to our people who are implementing these projects, especially the councils, to be expediting the process, but also I feel pity on them because there are still bottlenecks in the procurement, procurement processes. And just a stone throw away, a local contractor is currently constructing the mother's shelter at Miyombe District Hospital. The foreman, Lukundo Musukwa, explains how this has empowered the locals here. We are really, really thanks and appreciate to say over CDF what has been offered for us. Yes, and uh, it's not only this one. We, are, we, we have been done this before again. When I see two, we have done one by three classroom block. The company has employed 25 bricklayers to help with the constructing of this project. We thank government for this CDF funds. It has helped us and it has empowered local people. We are very thankful to the area member of parliament, Robert Chavinga, and the local authority, Mafinga Town Council. Once completed, these facilities are expected to service over 370,000 people in the district. Ruth Chainda, ZNBC News, Mafinga District.